John McFeeders. John McFeeders. Yep. Do you do this just for me, or is that like something you do, uh, John McFeeders? You know, I've just been talking all day. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like, like a good, yeah. It has nothing to do with China or the market. It's no, just a, it's not offensive. Yeah. In fact, it shouldn't be, because <laughs> even in China, this is a nice thing to do. It's yeah. amazing everywhere, actually. It's like... How did you get into this business? Unwittingly, I've been in sneakers for a lot longer than I planned okay. ever being. I, I mean, my mom tells the story of me begging for the shoes when I was eight years old and stuff. Yeah, that must have but been. But beginning 2015, my partner and I, we went out and we didn't even know what we were gonna do and we just started thinking, you know what, let's, let's innovate. Retail's on a downtrend mm -hmm. for, for this market and um, this type of business that we do is definitely on an uptrend. We wanna clean it up, make it accessible, find new ways to transact and that's exactly what we're doing now. Why are sneakers so much cooler than what I saw on like other sites? Well, you know, it comes down to breadth of product. I mean, in fact, take a shoe like this, for example. Uh -huh. This is the launch shoe for this style Adidas made. So many people wanted this, it sold out in like two seconds. You couldn't find it anywhere. And now you still can't find it anywhere and you gotta come to someone like Stadium Bits to track it down. So you kind of take that on a wider scale. We have 10,000 styles of wow. sneakers, deep inventory, um, trying to get something for everyone that you can't find at traditional retail. How much would a shoe like that sell for? Uh, you know, I, I would, I'm guessing this one's probably about $500, if I had to guess. Yeah. $500, because there's gold embedded in the sole. <laughs> you started in the US, yeah. essentially an aftermarket for... Full aftermarket consignment marketplace. So we sell shoes on behalf of sellers that okay. are looking to sell their product. And it's all brand new, 100% authentic. So these shoes get produced, limited editions, by these factories. Yep. And then you say, okay, I'm going to buy X number of those. And we don't buy anything. Right, okay. Yeah. So what's the model here? So it's a seller that owns this shoe. They bring it to us to sell. We kind of make the market. We put it up for sale on eBay, Amazon, uh, Tmall, through our partnership into China. It sells. At that point when it sells, you get cashed out for 80% of the transaction. Okay. Right? We keep 20%. So it's um, consignment. It's, yeah, it's consignment. This pair is an example. When this was released, I bought, I bought this pair. This is uh, Air Max 1997. They made this in two colors. It's a gold and a silver. And my first job that I ever had that was like a real on the books job, I got so I could afford one of these pairs. Of wow. So, so wait, I'll, wait. I'll buy these when they come out. Nostalgia. 1997. Value. Well, no, so they retroed it. Uh, okay. These companies, part of what they do is they re-release styles that are popular. Okay. So this shoe is from 2017. It's just a remake okay, of the 1997 popular style. Yeah. Percentage of your business right now that's in the U.S. versus in China, for example? I would say 87, 88% in the U.S. Okay, you know? still a tip. Yeah. Do the Chinese pay that type of money for a sneaker? They do. Everywhere you sell is a little different. It might be high price point, it might be low price point. China's the same. It's a unique mix. When you went into China, how did you build your brand and let people know what this is about? A lot of hard work and strategy and figuring it out. You know, we were lucky enough to get hooked up with... Uh, the folks over at T-Mall pretty early. Okay. I mean, we're only 19 months old as oh, a wow. business, so still very new. Been on T-Mall for nine months. They helped us to integrate and get situated and figure out our plan and our strategy. They believed in our vision okay. for what we were trying to bring. So we just went through all the motions. It was a good amount of work and figuring yeah, right. it out. You have an entity anything. in China? Uh, we have a TP, third party, that okay. helps manage our CS and some of our marketing. Magic Panda, great, great agency out there that we were very happy with. What other markets are you going into? We're gonna make a big play in Europe. Uh, got a play plan for Southeast Asia area as well. After that, I've got eyes on Japan and uh, hopefully South America, actually, after that. The most money you'd pay for sneakers for your two-year-old? Uh, I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask, but probably, I, 350 I think, is what we've gone to. Yeah. $3.50? No, $350. For your two-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, come on, your two-year-old. I mean, I'm in the sneaker business, man. You can't be walking around with the... With, the, with some with some of the Joe Schmo regular stuff. You know, Hudson, it's got to have special. I want my son to know that I will not buy you those sneakers. Do not even ask. Yeah. Thanks for watching Getting the Global. Click on one of the videos, subscribe to learn how you can sell more online overseas.